Hello, Libra. Welcome to your October love reading. Hold on, y'all. Hope you guys are doing well. I had to make an adjustment. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. If this one hits home, the link to the extended reading will be below in the description box. All right, let's see what's coming in for Libra in October. Cards have been pre-shuffled, so we're gonna get to it. All right, Libra, let's do it. What does your love life look like in October? Oh, happy birthday, Libra, by the way. All right, <laughs> what does the past energy look like? You've got the Emperor in reverse, Major Arcana for Aries. What's going on right now? What's the current energy? Page of Swords. Person you're thinking about or connecting with, what's on their mind? The Knight of Pentacles, a little Virgo action. What do they think of you, Libra? The Two of Wands. All right, how do they feel about you deep down? What's going on in the emotions? The Fool, Major Arcana for Aries. All right, how do they wanna move forward or how do they see moving forward with you? Judgment, Major for Scorpio. Some of you are Libra Scorpio cuspers. So if you're on a break from somebody, maybe you broke up and you wanna see how an ex feels, this is how they feel about reconciling. If you're connecting with somebody already, or you will in October, this is the energy of how they plan on moving forward with you. What's coming in that you don't see? The Ace of Swords, Aquarius energy. What's your advice from spirit? What do they want you to do, Libra? The Page of Wands. And what's the outcome here, Libra in love? Oof, look at you showing up. It's the Empress. Libra, Major Arcana, and I absolutely love it in this deck. It's beautiful. Look at that. All right, so if you're not familiar with tarot, uh, Major Arcana, there's 22 in the deck, and uh, it's just big shifts in energy, right? And your card happens to be the Empress. That Empress is all about expansion and love and growth and giving birth to something new, right? Could be, but it's just kind of moving forward. She's ruled by Venus. So it's all about love and nurturing a connection. All right, you guys hit the thumbs up for me or the thumbs down, doesn't make a difference. Either one, it's all interaction. So uh, if you need a private reading, I've also included all of my website information in the description box below, as well as the link that will take you over to the extended reading where we dive a little bit deeper, see how they feel about you, see what's going on external in their life, and just do a little spying, Libra. All right, let's do it. Libra, October 2021. All right, let's take a look at the past. We have an emperor in reverse, Aries energy. What's this emperor in reverse? The eight of cups in reverse, okay. So I feel whomever this is that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, there is this energy of things are beyond our control. I'm not getting like a nasty, shitty energy from that Emperor in Reverse. It can be, but I'm getting more, there's a loss of control here. Things are chaotic. I don't have control over the situation, but at the same time, somebody is like, I'm not walking away from this though. I feel a lot of love in this energy, Libra. And those of you that are completely single, you know, it's coming, Knight of Coins. So then we decided to just kind of be, you know, slow and stable and cautious and just kind of keep things here. There is something here in the past, Libra, again, where you have that energy with somebody. Listen, this is beyond our control, but I'm not going anywhere. Let's just kind of keep things where they are. That Knight of Coins always reaches his goal. It's just very, very slow. Right now, we've got a page of swords going on currently with the five of wands. So that page of swords is inquisitive. The page of swords is a student of the deck. He's keeping an eye on things. He's asking questions, looking at social media. Yes, could be. But right now, between you and somebody, and you've got that page of swords, so it certainly could be your energy, is, listen, I know there's conflict or there's some sort of struggle in the way here. Maybe both of your, you know, both of you have that inner conflict as well. But it's, there's interest here still. Now, on your person's mind, what's going through their thoughts? Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Ten of Coins. This is like for real, you know, the Knight of Pentacles again with the Ten of Coins. Those coins, this Ten of Coins, in my opinion, it beats out all the others. 
because it's not just emotion. It's not just passion. This is stable. This is long term. This is we grow old together and have a family and have stability and marriage and commitment. But on their mind is, I think you both have come to some sort of form of an agreement here that it's going to take a while to get to this because of this five of wands, whatever that is, that's different for everybody, but it does represent some sort of struggle, conflict. How do they view you, Libra? The two of wands. So it could be that distance is the issue, maybe. Sorry about the glare, can't really help that. But look at that two of wands, beautiful. I love the artwork in this deck. That two of wands has a decision to make, but he's just kind of holding back. Because a lot of times for me, the two of wands is that energy of, I don't want to regret the decision I make, so I'm just kind of waiting. And it's a big decision. What's this two of wands? Queen of Cups, again, usually Cancerian energy, but again, some of you might be Libra Scorpio cusps. You might be dealing with a water sign. They view you as being emotionally available to them, wanting to offer your emotion, but I think you're both very, very intuitive as well on making some sort of decision here, making plans for the future, which they clearly have on their mind. What's this Queen of Cups with the Two of Wands? Queen of Coins. And look, two queens. So Libra, they view you as wanting to nurture, offer your emotion. You know, the Queen of Cups is quite nurturing energy, but so is the Queen of Coins. This Queen of Coins is very stable. She's very grounded with her emotions. And it's queen energy. Again, it's like wife, mother, husband, father. They view you as knowing that you need to make a big decision here regarding that energy. How do they feel about you deep down? The fool, major four uh, Aries. What's this fool energy? Why is this here in their feelings and their emotions? The five of swords in reverse. Again, there's some sort of leap of faith here. They know emotionally they want to take, they want to take a risk here with you and they don't want to hurt anybody. This is nice energy really on both sides. You've got another five here, right below this five. It's in reverse, which is overcoming conflict and hurt. Maybe you or them have both been hurt in love. And so now emotionally, it's like, screw it, caution to the wind, let's do it. You know, we've both been hurt. Let's overcome that. Five of swords, yeah, and the nine of swords. And this person's also emotionally, whatever big decision or risk this is, whether it's distance, you know, taking it to the next level, whatever this is for y'all, emotionally, they're worried here. They are worried because there is some sort of risk that's going to have to be taken and they're worried about it working out. They don't want to get hurt again. That's for sure. The sun, they're having, they're healing too. You've brought some sort of healing energy to this person. You've got Leo energy there, but you make them very happy emotionally. And again, this is somebody that's just going to go ahead and take the risk here. They want this. This is a lot of happiness and healing. How do they see moving forward with you? Judgment, Scorpio energy. Woo. And the Hierophant. Okay, who's getting married? I could, but maybe not. I don't know. These are two cards of marriage. And you've got two major arcana there. So moving forward, Libra, Scorpio, Taurus energy, doesn't matter. I'm just naming the signs. They know there's a big decision here. They want something traditional. They see this going very long term. They're making plans for that. I think, and because the two is kind of, you know, the two of wands is a two. I don't, I'm not getting like a huge challenge when it comes to whatever decision this is. Is there a little bit of strife or inner conflict? Yeah but I just don't feel like it's the end of the world. They know that the connection with you means to travel forward, move, moving forward. This is a big decision. This is a big deal. I'm just, I'm just getting commitment marriage. In the outside influences coming in, you've got the Ace of Swords. What's this about? And the Nine of Swords. I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords with the Ten of Swords? Why is this in the hidden factors for Libra and love? What is this? And the Nine of Coins. The truth that there's more time that is going to have to, you're going to have to wait. That's why this Knight of Pentacles is here too, twice. 
So what you don't see coming, the ace is, there's a, um, gonna be a conversation at some point. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna be a little painful. We have to shut out a cycle here. And through October, again, that's why I keep getting distance. Or somebody's trying to leave a job and relocate to be together, something like that. I think through October, you're not completely together. This is more about making plans. Make sure that you don't say anything that would hurt the other person. I don't think you would intend to do that or vice versa. But this Ace of Swords will be a very to the point conversation that brings some sort of clarity to the situation. Nine of Coins, Virgo. What's this Nine of, Coin <clears throat> Nine of Coins about? Queen of Wands. This is moving more towards November, most likely. That Queen of Wands, who's this Queen of Wands? Aries energy, she's bossing up, the lovers, yeah. For some of you, what's in the way is another person, but I don't see that lasting. Somebody's getting out of something here. The lovers can be a third party with this Queen of Wands here. But th it would be a situation, I'm not getting like cheating, I'm gonna backstab you, no. Somebody's trying to close out a cycle so you guys can start making plans. It's just on hold. Things are moving slowly. For some of you, it's because there's somebody else. For others of you, it's distance. Throughout the month of October, you're still not completely with this person. And there's a little bit of um, hurt around that. But I think it's because you, you both want to be together. Your advice is this page of wands. Why? Why is this page of wands here? Leo, Sag, Aries. Page of Swords in Reverse. What's the Page of Swords in Reverse? Why is this the advice? And the Six of Cups. Somebody's got to wrap up their past or wrap up a job or something like that. Children could be involved here as well. One of you may have children and you're trying to kind of just tie up loose ends or they are. That page of wands is delivering some sort of good news. Of course, it's young, it's flirty, it's, you know, I think there'll be a lot of kind of passionate back and forth communication going on here too, Libra. There could be um, like a couple days you go without communicating here, and it's because of the Six of Cups. I think that um, it's definitely obviously a soul connection. This is your past, and it's in the upright. So Spirit is telling you, this is a strong connection. Yeah, we've got some strife in the way here. You guys overcome it. I don't think it'll be resolved through October. Somebody's dealing with children. And they're saying focus on that. Don't get angry also. Like if, let's say you text them or whatever it is, call them and they can't speak right then or they can't text right then. Don't, they're telling you, don't get angry at that. There's a reason for it. I'm not feeling deception here, y'all. If this is because somebody's trying to end another relationship, I believe them that they are. This energy is telling me that. The outcome has the Empress, so that's you. Major Arcana for Libra. What's this Empress? Page of Coins. Slow, right? And again, it could be, um, some of you are single moms. With that Empress, the Page of Coins being a child, doesn't have to be an earth sign child, but there's a lot of energy on um, being a good mom. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. You're nurturing this connection with this person here. It's still nurturing, it's just slow. And again, I'm repeating myself, but it's all through the reading here. And it's moving slowly because of two or three different things. Somebody's still married, but they're getting out of it. Um, somebody's very focused on nurturing their career, their family, their home, their children, something like that, which is causing delays. I think a lot of you are at a distance from this person. And if it's not physically, it's just emotionally through October. You'll have to keep in mind, I'm just reading October. And the more I clarify, the more we move into November. It's not forever. What's this? There's still, you guys still want to feed this connection though. There's a lot of um, value towards each other. It's just moving slow as hell. Is this page of coins? More coins. Surprise, surprise. Seven of coins. Having to wait here. Really looking and pay, you know, taking stock of the situation. You guys are both, whomever this is, Libra, you guys are both being very, very practical, very cautious. 
because I'm telling you, when this comes together, it comes together for a very long time, if not forever. And you guys are both in that energy. It's all over the reading. So nobody's going to make a move here until they know it's right, until almost like bringing justice, haha, your card, doing the right thing for everybody involved, or at least as close as possible. Yeah, seven of swords in reverse. And I do feel as though you, them, both of you feel guilty that you can't be together. It's like you feel bad for each other that there's some a blockage in the way here throughout October because you both clearly want to move towards each other. So don't self-sabotage. Don't like get your feelings hurt too easily. There's something that's beyond the con your control here. And it's just the way it is. You saw that here in the past with the Emperor in Reverse. Eight of coins and judgment at the bottom of the deck. I always like to get kind of last minute energy. This is making a decision to still, you guys are still going to put effort into the connection. You have to look at this as like a building block because those pentacles are stable long term. There's value tied to it. You're, it's a work in progress. Judgment obviously is repeating the past, but judgment is also taking stock and, and looking in the mirror and blowing that horn and making a really important decision. And again, with the coins and the pentacles, it's all about something that's very stable for long term. You're just going to have to be patient. I like this energy, I got to say. I mean, I am a, I think my, yeah, my Vedic is Libra. What's up, Libra? All right, you guys, we'll head over to the extended reading and we'll take a look and see what their ne next course of action, what are they really doing behind the scenes? How do they really feel versus what they're telling you and what you can expect? All right, I will check you out over there. I love you hard. Love me hard back. We'll speak soon.